Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster, episode number 23. We're moving right along, aren't we? Things are looking absolutely beautiful today. Absolutely beautiful. I am sorry. There was like a three-day delay there on videos, and Beto got sick again. I got two waves of sickness, and I'm still... Uh, feeling it this time this is gross but it felt it felt like like i got totally perfectly healthy but then i woke up one morning and it felt like somebody took a knife in the back of my throat and just went shwink, and just sliced it and messed me up good man i couldn't even talk yesterday i was trying to record trying to record wasn't nothing doing uh but now but, uh, well, that gave me a lot of opportunity to do a lot off camera. So let's do, let's do a little bit of sightseeing, shall we? You're probably already picking up on some new things. I've done so many little things throughout the park that I probably won't get to. Uh, but let's point out some of the major things. Uh, I did a couple of uh, little things here. So this area was, was uh, wide open before. And now I've kind of got it filled in. I, I built a little something over here. Um, I built this little thing just to cover the, the queue. And I, I thought it'd look a little interesting, kind of a little building. And I put a couple of little buildings here as well. These are actually in-game default pre-made buildings. But they fit so perfectly right here, and I thought, you know what? Some thatch roof buildings would work out really nicely. And all of the things that they put in, you know, Mexilente, the hat shop. Uh, is that a drink shop? Yeah. And then uh, the two chief beefs. And then even on this side, there are some shops too. I customized them a little bit. Uh, that's the balloon shop. And then I added a bathroom on the back side of this one. Um, so yeah, it fills that area out quite nicely, you know, you get some, some more houses and buildings in there and it looks really, really good. Um, what else did I do? I, I did a lot, trust me. I made, I put this teacup thing right here and I raised up the terrain in this entire area. And I made a mistake that I probably won't, will likely not make again. Um, I, I wanted to have the queue go through a tunnel that would come out up here and to raise the terrain up high enough to make a tunnel here the terrain was up probably about this height instead of down here so I had to do it all by hand with rocks and although this doesn't look terrible uh, it's not ideal it looks pretty handmade which isn't bad for a park you know but it took a lot of bushes and other things to kind of make it work. And this isn't ideal. This isn't the greatest look in the world. And I could definitely fix that up. Um, oh yeah, this just reminded me. I put a little, this was an empty spot. So I put a little fountain here with a little water, water works thing in there. I thought that was kind of nice. Um, there's so many little things that I've done. But uh, let's see, over here, I spent a lot of time on this because I didn't like how this drop was not very big. This drop over here was actually bigger than this one. So I changed this a little bit. So it's a little drop and then it goes way up and then a big drop at the end. Um, as you'll notice, this area, the splashdown area here, is lower than the entrance. So the, the path here actually goes uphill, but because you have a stream and a water flow, the current actually pushes it up uh, so it makes it but this took a long time to get this to actually connect up to here you had to get the exact perfect height for this I had to lower the main station a little bit which meant editing a lot of the coaster uh, to get it to work I also raised the terrain up a lot here because I thought this looks really nice coming down here with the trees and the rocks and the bushes and stuff it's kind of a cool Cool little look and we don't have any well I mean that that log flume is gonna be kind of close um, 
maybe we get a look at it. I haven't actually looked at it uh, as, ooh, nice view, question mark. You get a nice view right there, but I haven't actually ridden it since I've done all this decorating to this area. I probably put a good six to seven, maybe eight hours into this yesterday and the day before, so a lot of time. Are we near the top yet? Was he? Oh, we did it. We made it. Oh, this is nice. I like this. We're really low here. Really low. Oh, because we're a little kid. We're a little kid, aren't we? I bet we are. Yeah, we're a little kid. That's why we couldn't see over. That's pretty cool. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I think that looks nice. It's a good look overall. Um, but it's getting to the point now where it's really fun. Look at how long. People love water rides in this game. Don't they? My gosh. That's unbelievable. Um, but it's getting to the point to where it's really fun to just go around and check out all the areas of my park. Um, all these little areas that I've built to see that people are actually working or, or, or walking around in just about every area. It's really cool. Um, I also redid this section. Uh, I did this all in the square paths and so I deleted everything, the whole thing, and <clears throat> just redid it all. Selected a grid and, and redid the whole thing. I think it looks pretty good. It allows us these are kind of not done. They're just here to get the idea in. Um, but this is kind of meeting that idea that I had that we'll have, you know, stuff like this from time to time. But this whole middle section. Oh, we need to get some trash bins in here, don't we? Uh, a lot of people are throwing stuff on the ground. Bunch of bums, screw idiots. Throw your stuff in the trash, dummies. How can they if there's no trash for them to throw into? Um, but yeah, this allows us to put stuff here. <clears throat> All we have to do is just to, uh, remove a couple of spots and then we can put the buildings in. The downside is we've got a little bit of this grass section showing here, which I really don't want. So let's try something together before I move on and show you some other things that I've done. Let's go to uh, roofs and let's go flat roofs and let's go. Um, not the castle. Let's go with. Maybe that guy fits in kind of nicely, you know? It's not bad. Uh, let's hit X and just kind of maneuver him into place here. Okay, something like that. Maybe we rotate it a little bit like that. That's not bad. And then down. That's not bad. All right? It's not bad. Boom. Boom. And we could even... I mean, that's a little bit... It's a little bit tight right there, isn't it? It's not bad. It's not bad. It, it definitely works. Um, but yeah. So we can do some things to kind of get rid of that grass and fix that problem. Uh, a little bit, at least. Come on over this way, would you? Well, it's not wanting to do it. I'll, I'll just spend some time off camera getting this just right. Ah, 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 ah. There you go, buddy. And forget it. Forget that one. Uh, but yeah, that kind of fills that in a little bit. Not bad. It works. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that'll be a nice little square, especially once we decorate those buildings out a little bit. Um, but... The biggest thing, the time, the thing I spent the most time on, I believe, was this guy. Yeah, baby. We've got the coal miner working. 
to where people want to ride it. They're very, very excited. When the line is full like this, it's good. Um, I've been watching Jay's thing. Uh, his He's doing a challenge series on Planet Coaster. And it, from what I've seen, there's there's a good balance you want to find here for a, a good park uh, when you're dealing with finances and stuff. If you have this problem, the queue for the coal miner is full or too long, and the coal miner is a really good value, you raise the price. And if you raise the price, then the queue will be shorter. And so you, these two, if you just raise the price, you don't have any real problem with it it's like the perfect balance um but what did i do what did i do let's set it to 10 o'clock i added some trim brakes um we're not gonna go into that but trim brakes are basically little brakes that slow the train down mid track uh i i, I realize that the fear the majority of the fear was coming from the speed. So there's some trim brakes right in here on this first drop because they were coming down so hot. They are coming down really fast. It was like a 13 fear right in here, which is way high. Um, so now it comes down. At, oh, it broke down. It breaks down a lot. <clears throat> um, and everybody's leaving, aren't they? Yep. Yep. So, that's fine. Whatever. We'll figure something out for that uh, when we do like a real park. But, um, yeah. So, it was a balance of slowing down the speed but keeping the momentum. Because a lot of the way I built this was it was reliant on the speed it had to make some of these big moves. Like, you're coming down here. You go up, down, up, down. And then you got to come all the way around. And we used to go up over this. But now we go through this little tunnel, which is just as good, in my opinion. Maybe even a little better. And then you come down through here, and down this long tunnel, uh, there are some trim breaks. And right in here, I think we can even look at the statistics uh, from our tests. Heat maps. The fear. So you see, we got a lot more green than we used to. This used to be in the 13, 14 range. It's still high in here because we need that speed to get up to this point. But now we got some green here. We've got a lot of good green here. This is some nice green. There's some green over here as well. And then green over here. So I think that was just enough green. And by I'm saying green because you don't want it too low either. Uh, but even this these lower parts kind of balance it out. So trim brakes. Trim brakes really saved a lot. We used to have a little helix right here too, but we lost so much speed through that helix that we couldn't get over this. So it just kind of comes out and wraps around. And I, it's still a really cool ride. We go extremely slow right here. A little too slow for my taste, but it's at a functional spot to where it works. Makes me really happy. Thrilled with it. Um, I also built a bathroom. Two bathrooms over here. I uh, just kind of did a little custom building. Uh, got that in place. It's working. Uh, these aren't open. Poor, th poor things. They keep closing, I think, because there's not enough people over here. Um, but, um, yeah, so we've got this area. I may I connected a little path up here. Um, maybe readjusted the paths a little bit. But there's something... Very big that I want to try today. And I don't know if we're going to be able to make it work, but we're going to give it a shot. That's for sure. If we pause the game, we can start getting some of that beautiful music. We're going to track rides, custom, choo choo a train. Yeah, baby. And get that guy right there. Right there is perfect. I think. Let's put him right there. So this is a big undertaking. And it has huge potential to either ruin or improve our cosmetics, depending on our skill with this. Um, 
So this is basically just a train. It's more of a tourist ride. It's going to go very slow and it's going to take people through the park. My ideal goal here is to give people a nice overview of the park. Let them see the park from a higher up viewpoint. Which I think we can do. I think it'd be a great addition. So we got to plan a path. What I'm thinking is if we come out and come around here and kind of go through the forest like this and stay at this same elevation, come through here, we can kind of go right along this line right here. Right out through here. You go by the coal miner, you see a lot of this stuff, you know, on this side of the park. We could go through here and I'm almost thinking of going into the mountain and in the mountain you can give them a little bit of a show in there we could potentially decorate the inside of that mountain out um, and then come out at some point and then close it off maybe even come out over here but <clears throat> I'll show you why this can be good okay so if we just continue on as you can see these supports are really, really nice. Now, the train, obviously not ideal for our scenery, but it's a lot better than a lot of others. For our theme, I guess I should say. It's a lot better than some of the other potential options. Uh, so let's continue to go straight here. Start curving a little bit. Mm-hmm. Curve a little bit more. But you get these really cool looking supports. You see? Uh, so I think that's going to work out really nicely for us. I hope, at least. Let's keep going. That's a good line. Tuck it over this way a little bit. Um, that's good. Over this way. And then if we come along through here like this start to curve this like that uh let's shorten that a little bit we can't that's as short as it goes but that's good i think that's good actually we go here i'm i'm not lowering the height at all i, w I, I just want to get this out here <clears throat> out here and i want to see what this does to our aesthetic for the park if it improves it or makes it worse. Kind of come through here. Straighten out a little bit. And then we can potentially start curling in right there. So let's take a look at this. Uh, it definitely obstructs the view of the coal miner a little bit. Doesn't it? But it's not bad. really wonder what do I think of that hmm start test no let's not do a test <laughs> let's not do a test yet yeah, it definitely obstructs that view how much of a drop can we get on these as they go oh quite a bit so we could bring this down we could bring it down okay this is very good to know, very good to see. Uh, I'll get to work on this. I'll kind of start planning this out and putting some path together, and I'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, so I think I've got something that's pretty good here. Hopefully, at least. Um, you know, going through the park, I've lowered it so it's not nearly as obtrusive, obtrusive as it was before. Got to slide this tree uh, out the way just a little bit. Let's move him over here. And maybe a little rotate action. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. But yeah, it weaves through here very nicely. Uh, but then bringing it down, it's it just doesn't, you know, doesn't get in the way as much, you know. It still has a similar effect. So I think that's nice. Comes around here. And then heads into the mountain here. And let's see... Let's see if we can't get in here. Oh yeah, we can. So this is pretty tight 
And now very dark. Going away now. Going away from that. Uh, but yeah, that's going to give us plenty of area to kind of clear out and do some kind of cool stuff. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there are... Um, let me show you. Um, is it door? Um, coaster? Uh, oh, all coaster doors. So this is really interesting. So you put these guys down inside the tunnel and you treat them as a triggered event. And so once the coaster gets to a certain point, the doors will open, you know? Um, so for example, we could put them like Uh, boy, let's, let's actually hit V. Okay, that didn't work. V again? Okay. And now, I mean, it doesn't look very straight, does it? But it is straight. Okay, it is straight. Very good. So we could pop them, like, right here. That's fine. And then if we hit P, will it close? They close. Okay. Very good. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that's cool, right? So we could trigger it to where they're closed. Stop doing that all the time. Um, we could trigger it to where they're closed. And then when the train comes up to it, it opens. Uh, activate on trigger. Yes. Very good. And obviously, we'd actually probably want to bring them down to like here. Give it a little rotate job. Something like that. Uh, <clears throat> and we'll have to build around it a little bit to kind of spice it up. But pretty cool. I wish I could change the color. Can you not change the color of that? I don't know. But yeah, that'll open. And we could do that multiple times to lead them into different areas, but take them through a little show in the tunnel. That's going to be a whole lot of work. Uh, I imagine several hours of, of good work on that. There's no entrance. Does this happen a lot? Oh, for this. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um, but so it comes out there. Here's where things get a little rough. Uh, it comes up here and then, you know, we've got this action going on over here um you know not great not great i might be able to lower this all and potentially have a better slope like from here all the way to here it's just gradual i wonder if that's possible actually let's let's try that okay uh let's select this and let's see how far we can drag we can drag pretty far. We can drag very far. Okay, so that's all selected. I wonder if I smooth it all. I killed everything. I broke everything. Oh no. I... That's too much. That I smoothed too much. Nothing's working. Whoops. Don't smooth that much, everybody. Okay, crashed, but uh, come back and it's still good. Okay, that's good. Um, let's never do that again. <laughs> but yeah, so there's things we can do to kind of fix this up. And without having this area quite complete, it's a little difficult, you know, um, to really know what we want to do. We could put buildings on the outside here. To kind of cover that up as well so it's not like set in stone to where you know this is how it has to be over here um I mean, we definitely need to come into this spot at some point and i don't want it to be too tight of a turn all of this is good i think all of this is good it, is, it doesn't really detract i think it actually adds to the whole look and feel of things um Especially here, where you go under it. It's really cool. Uh, so I don't think it's a bad thing. 
just this side. This is the side where I think it could use some love. Um, but what I want to do now, before we finish things up, I want to build something around this. Uh, so if we make an entrance, place an entrance, place an entrance, allow. Can we not place an entrance? It's closed. Yes, I know. I'm not sure. Um, either way, what I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a little thing around this to kind of help make it look a little bit nicer. It just doesn't look so bad. It's not so bad. It's not terrible. I think... Ooh, it made a whistle. The whistle go... Whoo! There she goes. Not bad. There's a lot you can control with these. The number of cars and all that stuff. Oh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I do declare. I like it. Oh, it's nice. I like it. So you can set the number of trains and all that stuff. Um, a couple of finagly things. Number one, I thought, eh, hey, let's try to pu pull a building out, like, right here. Connected to it. It put this little gear thing on there. Might put a little more of that. I th and then I had this flat roof, so I thought, man, a little one of these little water tower things would be really nice. Look at the train go, whistle go, whoo. Um, but yeah, this is this fit really well here. It is just a problem that the roof is weird. There's uh, a little bit of a roof situation. I wonder. Direct. Does that line up? Surely it don't. Um, how about a rotate job? Would you like to get rotated? I bet you would. Not bad. Now that's off. But, uh, you can kind of finagle it a little bit. I don't know. And then I could kind of, hmm. I mean, it's, it's not. I'm forcing it a little bit. Some time off camera, I could get it working, but we could put a little something right there. You know, those are made with put water in the steam engine. Uh, but yeah, just kind of made this little place. It's kind of nice. A lot of repetitive things throughout it. But overall, it looks pretty good, I feel like. You definitely want to add some detail to the roof. I want to detail it out a little more because I think uh, once we do, it could look really, really good. But it's a nice looking little train station. From up here... You have a fantastic view of a lot of things. Um, and that's what we're going to really, that's what we've been really focusing on in this park is the view. We want everything to look really, really nice as best as possible. And I think it does uh, from all views. So I'm really excited. We've made a lot of progress today. Oh, you know what? I wonder if the train stuck. It made it through. Did we not? Oh. Oh, that didn't save. Okay, from the crash, that didn't save. Well, that's probably good, actually, because the train uh, probably wouldn't have made it through there. And here it comes through the tunnel. Hey, train. Hi. Welcome, buddy. You're, you're chugging along. Oh, so woman, she's doing a great job as an engineer. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a too steep of a slope, and if we if we just make that more gradual all the way around, it could be really, really cool. Um, we could even try to like go through here and wrap around. We'll see. Overall, I think we made some great progress. I'm very anxious to get into the financials. This is, to me, to me. If you like the creative side, I think this is the perfect place to start in this game. I think it's a really good place to start because you can learn about all the potential options, you know? You get that creative, you, you can say, okay, well, I could do this, 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 this. Yeah, it's going to cost a lot of money, but to get a lot of, get a park like this, you really want to do well with your finances. So, um... It's definitely going to be fun once we start with the uh, economy and stuff like that. Look at this thing go at nighttime, lighting up the track. It's probably, in my opinion, this is one of the best games 
ever made. In my opinion. So much attention to detail, it's just unbelievable. Hey! What's happening to this ride? Too intense. All of a sudden, too intense. You used to ride it, you bunch of screws. Okay, we gotta fix that one now. Love you guys to death. I'm out for the day, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Oh, okay! Alright! Whoa, Ginger!